The ice cream challenge has gone viral, but some people are facing prison time for it. Before I get into the tea, I just want to put out a disclaimer. Please do not send any hate to the people involved in this story. This video is simply meant to report on the news and give some insight on the situation. On June 28th, a teenager uploaded a video licking a tub of Bluebell ice cream and putting it back in the freezer. Lick it. Oh, you found Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Oh, you, you are a ho the video was later deleted. On June 29th, someone re-uploaded the video and asked, what kind of psychopathic behavior is this? The video went viral and has been viewed more than 13 million times. Many people were not impressed with her behavior. Not funny, not amused. Assuming this isn't just shot for reactions and she really put the ice cream back for someone else to buy, it should be a felony. I hope she gets arrested for this. I don't know if she's more gross for doing it or stupid for letting someone take a video and post it. Someone gave advice. This is why I make sure the wrap is fully on before I purchase any ice cream from a store. No wrap, no purchase, period. Another person called out Bluebell. It does is highlight why a lot of us don't purchase Bluebell. They don't have their product protected. Hashtag Bluebell finger pointing. On July 1st, Bluebell posted a statement on their website. They thanked people on social media for alerting them. We want to thank our consumers for alerting us to the incident this past weekend of a video posted to social media showing a Bluebell item being tampered with. We take this issue very seriously and are currently working with law enforcement, retail partners, and social media platforms. This type of incident will not be tolerated. Food safety is a top priority, and we work hard to provide a safe product and maintain the highest level of confidence from our consumers. And they explained why their packaging doesn't have a protective seal on it. During production, our half gallons are flipped upside down and sent to a hardening room where the ice cream freezes to the lid, creating a natural seal. The lids are frozen tightly to the carton. Any attempt at opening the product should be noticeable. As the viral video continued to gain traction, police worked with Bluebell to identify the location of the contaminated ice cream. On July 3rd, police identified the location as a Walmart store in Lufkin, Texas. Lufkin Police and Fire released a statement on Facebook that afternoon. Detectives had obtained surveillance video placing a woman matching the suspect description in the Lufkin store on June 28th around 11 p.m. Detectives believe they have the woman identified and the investigation is ongoing. Appropriate charges will be filed. Attached was a still image from the surveillance camera of the woman walking out of the Walmart in Lufkin. Later that evening, Lufkin police and fire explained the charges the suspect would face. Once her identity is verified, detectives will proceed with getting a warrant for her arrest on a charge of second-degree felony tampering with a consumer product. News outlets reported the woman may face up to 20 years of jail time if found guilty. Lufkin Police and Fire also reported that Blue Bell removed all half-gallon cartons of the tin roof flavor from Lufkin Walmart shelves. On July 5th, Blue Bell released a statement on their website. They thanked the police, Walmart, and customers who helped them with the case. Blue Bell also explained they may add protection to their cartons. We are always looking for ways to improve, including looking at methods within our manufacturing process to add additional protection to the carton. This upsets some environmentally conscious people. The new ice cream challenge is pissing me off because now all the ice cream companies are going to start sealing the ice cream with single-use plastic. Well done, guys. This challenge will resort in all ice cream having plastic seals, raising the cost of product and hurting the environment. On July 5th, the police identified the Texas teenager, but announced they would not release her name publicly because she's under 17. They released a lengthy statement on Facebook explaining the complications. What made this case difficult is that a catfish with a similar screen name within one letter of the suspect's screen name began taking credit for it. It was actually the catfish and not our suspect who bragged on Instagram about the incident saying, yeah, I really did that. You can call it Flubel ice cream now because I was a little sick last week. Repost yourself doing this. Let's see if we can start an epidemic, literally. There were roughly four to six women with similar screen names and appearances that law enforcement had to eliminate, including the catfish, before getting to the actual suspect. Lufkin police also explained the charges are currently in discussion. 
we have identified the Bluebell Liquor as a juvenile from San Antonio. Under Texas law, anyone under the age of 17 is considered a juvenile. The suspect is tied to the Lufkin area through her boyfriend's family. We have spoken with her boyfriend, who is an adult, as well. They were both forthcoming with what occurred and admitted to the act. We do not intend to pursue charges against her as an adult, and therefore, what happens from here is at the discretion of the juvenile justice system. We cannot speak for them as to what charge she will face in the juvenile justice system. As to whether her boyfriend will face charges, we are currently discussing his involvement with prosecutors. People were not happy with how the situation was handled. Definitely old enough to know better, charge her as an adult and throw that book at her. Yeah, just letting her slide by because she's young kind of encourages future bad behavior. If the boyfriend is an adult, he needs to be charged. She knows better. Community service, and then work for Bluebell free during her summer vacation. Some people compared it to Ariana Grande's infamous donut licking video. Pretty sure Ariana Grande did the same thing and nobody batted an eye. Remember when Ariana Grande licked a donut and wasn't given 20 years for tampering with consumer products? Ariana Grande started this food tampering when she was licking donuts and laughing about it. This ain't new. After the incident in Texas, many people were shocked at how some stores were responding to the ice cream challenge. These damn ice cream challenge idiots actually made buying ice cream a challenge. Retailers are going to have to put the frozen food section next to the cage. Why has it come to this? I mean, really, 1960s. I bet there'll be flying cars and time machines in the future, 2019. Texas Police Guard Ice Cream Aisle Not today, not on our watch. Some people came up with their own solutions. Can't trust these people anymore. Next time I buy ice cream, thanks sociopaths. What American supermarkets need most at this difficult time. Better safe than sorry. You gotta make sure they got the, the seal on it. No one's looking these, no one's looking these. How I buy ice cream now after watching the ice cream challenge videos on Twitter. Getting sealed ice cream because y'all wanna play games. Then, on July 8th, a Louisiana man was arrested for participating in the ice cream challenge. A 36-year-old man named Lenise Martin III was taken into custody after a video of him was circulating online. When management became aware of the video, Martin returned to the store with a receipt to prove he purchased the ice cream. Martin still faced charges, including unlawful posting of criminal activity for notoriety and publicity, and tampering with property. Lonnie Cavalier, a spokesman for the sheriff's office in Assumption Parish, said Martin was surprised he was being arrested. He didn't feel like he had done anything wrong. His explanation was, all I wanted to do was be famous, and I paid for the ice cream. The officials at the sheriff's office warned others not to participate in the ice cream challenge. It is illegal. It's a health risk to others. We will pursue anyone we see do this. You will be charged. Another popular ice cream challenge video done by an Instagram model also caught attention. She got so much backlash that she posted a statement on Instagram. Let me be clear, I bought and took home the ice cream I licked. I apologize if I caused any frustration, stress, or anger behind a tasteless joke prank. No one was harmed or affected when I made the video. The whole thing was staged. Please stop tagging me on blogs, and blogs, please stop reposting it. Again, I'm sorry, it wasn't funny. A few other people uploaded videos of the challenge. It's unclear whether these people face charges, and someone made a video making fun of the ice cream challenge. While all this was going on, more questionable challenges surfaced. A man spat into a jug of iced tea and put it back.
a woman drank multiple bottles of pop and put them back. A girl used deodorant and put it back. A woman poured out hair product and put it back. Hey, homegirl. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> Someone else spat mouthwash back into the bottle and put it back on the shelf. Girl, it has been one musty. Fresh. Thank you guys. Have an amazing day. They later uploaded photos on Twitter claiming they bought the mouthwash. A boy jumped into an enclosed area of water and got fined. He asked people on Twitter to let this go famous. The cucumber challenge was also going on. Comedian Desi Banks explained the challenge on Instagram. I know the cucumber, the people making it sound appealing. They do a lot than feeling. They, they are sucking. People be sucking these things. You! Really? I ain't lying. If I'm lying, I'm lying. Many people were not impressed with the challenges. Being an uncivilized adult must be the new trend. This trend is not cute or funny in the slightest. I don't care if it's staged. This is still nasty. And the fact that people are okay with doing this just for attention is some type of sickness. Congrats! You've been accepted into Clown State University. R slash people of Walmart alert. Some influencers also spoke up. James Charles said, Imagine licking ice cream or vandalizing a store because you need attention and likes on Twitter, lol. Bianca Del Rio said, Girl, people are licking ice cream containers in the grocery store and they call me crazy? Hashtag, what the actual f Around this time, the bottle cap challenge was also going on. It's a less harmful challenge where you kick the cap off a bottle. Many celebrities joined the challenge. Justin Bieber. Donnie Yen. Mariah Carey and Ryan Reynolds. Then, on July 11th, a Jacksonville mother was arrested after she and her 10-year-old daughter tampered with tongue depressors at a dentist's office. The video starts off by showing a sign that says, Please do not touch medical supplies. Thank you. The mother fiddled with the depressors, then her daughter grabbed a depressor, licked it, and put it back in the jar. The text superimposed on the video says, Don't tell me how to live my life. The mother explained, I posted this on my personal Snapchat with my 20-something friends, where someone allowed another person to video it. I didn't post it on Facebook or YouTube as a challenge or whatever. She also explained the short Snapchat video didn't show that the items were thrown away. She explained she didn't film the video for fame. I see now, like, why it looks bad, but it was not my intention to do a licking challenge. It was not my intention for it to be even shared like that. It was on something that was private. Since her daughter is a juvenile, the mother would face the charges. According to records from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, she is facing a felony charge of tampering with a consumer product without regard for possible fatality or bodily injury and could face up to 30 years in prison. And that seems to be the end of the drama for now. So, what's the big issue? How this viral ice cream challenge is actually a felony, the health risks from the challenge, and why people will do anything for fame. A lot of people aren't a fan of this challenge, but it's more than just a bad idea. In a lot of states, it's actually illegal. 
One person has been arrested for doing this challenge, the guy from Louisiana. According to the Texas Penal Code, tampering with food is a second degree felony. In the Penal Code, someone has committed an offense when he knowingly or intentionally tampers with a consumer product knowing that the consumer product will be offered for sale to the public or as a gift to another. If someone is convicted of a second degree felony in Texas, they can be imprisoned between 2 and 20 years, and they can be fined up to $10,000. In Louisiana, any person who is convicted of tampering with consumer products can be sentenced to up to five years in prison, fined up to $5,000, or both. And being sentenced to a felony can affect your life in multiple ways. According to Help for Felons, an organization dedicated to helping felons after they serve their time, people convicted of a felony can have a hard time finding work or finding a place to live. And in some states, convicted felons lose constitutional rights, like the right to vote. So you can see, even if you get internet fame from an ice cream challenge video, you could have lasting legal impacts that can affect you for the rest of your life. On top of being a legal issue, the ice cream challenge is also a health issue. When someone licks an ice cream carton, their saliva has now contaminated the product, and saliva can carry harmful bacteria. According to Dr. Jennifer Gershman, a pharmacist, saliva can carry multiple bacteria and viruses and result in the spread of infections such as colds, influenza, measles, and mononucleosis, among others. While the cold temperature from the freezer can decrease the risk, Dr. Gershman says these tampering cases are especially of concern with the global measles outbreaks. It can also be a huge risk for people who have compromised immune systems. People who are immunocompromised have a reduced ability to fight off disease diseases, and other infections, making them more at risk for contracting illnesses. While the risk of saliva transmitting disease is very small for people with healthy immune systems, people with compromised immune systems are more likely to contract an infection. With all of these negative factors, why are people so desperate to do anything to get famous, even if the general public ends up hating them? There are a few theories. According to research in neuroscience and attachment theory, normal human development requires that we feel recognized and seen by others. It's easy to feel recognized when you're a baby, as adults are programmed to respond to cute babies, and parents are responsible for doing everything for their babies. But as you get older, that need becomes harder to meet, partly because you become more self-sufficient, partly because everyone's lives become more complicated. And some people try to meet that need to be recognized through internet fame. Other experts suggest fame can be an addiction. While there isn't a lot of empirical research done on fame addiction, American psychologist Dr. Reef Karim says the rise in fame addiction has been linked to the rise in TV and the internet. As Dr. Karim observes, little kids today don't want to be doctors or lawyers, they just want to be famous. Dr. Robbie Ludwig, an American psychotherapist, adds, Fame is so fleeting. People who achieve it, there's no guarantee that they'll maintain it. So therein lies sort of the addictive loop. One of the concerns with celebrities who have made it is that they will lose it. There's this need for more and more. And just like with any addiction, it has less to do with actually the item that you're seeing. So the fame is actually used as a mood enhancer. Fame helps a person to feel important, invaluable, that they matter. And some people are willing to do anything to get that invaluable feeling. Overall, ingesting product and putting it back on the shelf is really disrespectful to the store, the brand, and the consumers who end up buying the used product. For most people, food contamination would make their stomach turn. And for some people with weak immune systems, contaminated food can seriously harm their health. Lauren Steinberg, a psychology professor, encourages parents to have a talk with their children to remind their social media posts can have consequences. Materials posted on social media are easily seen by anyone, not just their followers and friends, and this includes law enforcement, college admission committees, and potential employers, and that they are there forever, even when the teenager thinks they have been taken down. Teenagers tend not to think much about the future consequences of their decisions. So it is good for parents to have a discussion or multiple discussions about this, which is really good advice because this isn't the first time we've seen dangerous challenges. Teenagers have been seriously injured after participating in the Tide Pod Challenge and the Fire Challenge. Challenges are trendy and they're going to keep evolving, but the next time you participate in a challenge, think of the consequences and understand when you're stepping the boundaries with the law. And that isn't to say we can't have fun. There are harmless challenges like the Ice Bucket Challenge or the ongoing bottle cap challenge.
but a challenge crosses the line when it puts your life and the lives of others at risk. What do you think about this issue? Is becoming viral really worth the 15 minutes of fame? Let me know in the comments below. These ice cream licking heretics aren't even worth 15 seconds. You know the drill. If you want the burns, come to grill. And we can torch this internet garbage together.